Within our instructions, we also make reference to what we call traditional headlamps with line patterns in the glass. Now to be fair, these units have gradually been phased out since the late 1990s, but there are still a few cars around that use them. If you go through the car list in the instruction sheet, if your vehicle is listed there, you will find a dedicated instruction and fitting drawing for it. However, we also refer a number of cars to what we call diagram 150. Now this features what we call a sloping baseline within the light pattern. This is best viewed with the light switched on. What you will find then in this bottom quadrant here is that you've got a typical sort of wedge-shaped pattern within the line patterns and at the bottom of it is the sloping baseline. Depending on the size of the headlamp unit, this one's quite small being on an MG, you will actually end up just using the round part of the adapter which you will fit in the 9 o'clock position like so. On larger headlamps, particularly rectangular units, you will find the sloping baseline is considerably longer and in that, position, in that case you would use the full headlamp adapter as so. One thing to be aware of is these units, the round ones I'm talking about here as per this MG, are what we call sealed beam units. Over the years, as they've aged, a number of these headlamps of course have, to be have had to be replaced. In doing so, a lot of the modern sealed beam units don't actually show the sloping baseline within the headlamp pattern. This does not matter because they all follow the same 9 o'clock fitting position for the small round part of the adapter and that will definitely cover you off for these type of sealed boom units that are used traditionally on older sports cars.